she said, or how to select internal ring of these torus uh, using different selection modes. If you go to orthographic view and uh, press free on the keyboard, in order to be able to switch between edges and vertices and faces mode, uh, you can watch my other tutorial. Here I'm using faces mode at the beginning. First, if I select that, uh, that loop of faces, it's outer ring, and then I want to select internal ring. How can I do it? So I can switch to X-ray mode by pressing Option Z or Alt Z. And if I do it the same way as before, I'm able to select internal rings as well. And in order to here, I selected both internal and outer rings, and now I want to add to the selection or to subtract from the selection. So what can I use for it? I can use a shortcut control shift or command shift to intersect. Let's see. Um, let's see here. I want to intersect my two selections here. And I press control and hold a control shift while selecting only half of it. Here, as you see, I intersected two selections by holding control shift. You can use command shift on Mac as well and both are working methods. And then I want to subtract from my selection. So what can I do? I can hold control as well. And that allows me to subtract from my selection. And then I can use loops to add a subtract as well by holding control shift and toggling this selection. As you see, I'm, ad I'm adding this selection to already selected objects. And if I only hold control instead, I'm able, I'm able to select only one loop instead. So just deselect. Actually, it doesn't work as I expected, maybe because when you select using a selection box and you drag it, it's one case. If you hold control shift in this case, it will intersect. Uh, let's try to hold control shift while I'm dragging a mouse. As you see, it's intersection between two selections. But if I'm using a loop instead and holding control shift to intersect between two loops, actually it will add to this loop as well. So if you use a loop selection option by just double clicking on it, it will add to your selection when you hold control and shift. But if you're using dragging option while holding control and shift it will intercept intersect and actually add as you see it's not only intersected but also added okay let's hold it again i want to intersect these two selections control and shift and then i hold it voila as you see it's intersected two selections and then if i want to subtract from this selection I hold control only. And if I want to add to this selection, I hold shift only. That's how it works. I think it was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.